Mmm. The seminal sexiness of sweet chestnut blossom. After last year's amazing success using these at exactly this time of year, just fully in blossom, in Hawthorne, oh, sorry, not Hawthorne, in um, Sweet Chestnut Blossom Champagne, made pretty much the way that you would elderflower. Really explosive, really fizzy. I guess there's lots of natural kind of yeast and, la yeast and lactobacillus on these uh, blossoms. Yeah, I thought I'd, I'd go for it again, but really in, in a bit more of a quantity that allows me to experiment. So I'm going to make cordial this time. But I'm also going to make uh, also going to make tea. So I dry some for tea. And the other thing I'll do because I'll show you the video of how it worked out last year, which it was which was so ridiculously explosive that I think this time I'm going to get some champagne bottles. You know, I really do wonder if, given the, the smell which might not be to everyone's delight whether it is actually an aphrodisiac it's certainly you know an aphrodisiac for the love of being outside a love of nature a love of gathering blossom at the height of summer so yeah let's see how that goes look at these there's just so many it's an absolute riot of blossom at the moment going so so far up. I don't know how to see it, but it's loads there. Right, that's plenty to be getting on with. I should emphasize that as great a success as it was in terms of flavour as a drink, this was me in my really my my fergus the forager wild food experimentalist role and that is based on the fact that although i couldn't find any evidence in the kind of literature or any other kind of searches or kind of asking herbalist friends for any evidence that there could be anything negative about using this blossom I also couldn't find any tradition of using it for, for food. I mean, there's a few kind of obscure medicinal uses, but so in that sense, I guess it is, there's a, there's a little risk because when you're working with wild food, I think it is best to work with plants or plant parts where there is a tradition of, of use. But, you know, I like to push the boundaries and last year, I think I must have drunk about 10 litres of this, not all at once, about probably at, at most, like a pint at a time, like half a litre at a time. And it, I just really loved it, really enjoyable. Um, for me, the flavour was so superior compared to something like elderflower uh, champagne that yeah I, I really enjoyed it so why I'm motivated to explore it more so give it a go but do your own research just because I say it's good doesn't mean you will like it even flavor flavor wise but although I've been working with wild food for like 30 years I've only been working with this for one year now so Although I think it's perfectly safe, whatever a plant it is that you happen to be working with, always draw on more than one source of information. This is a source of information, what I'm kind of telling you I'm doing, but draw on multiple sources. It's always the best approach. Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? Actually, before I show you the clip from last year, 
I don't have champagne bottles right here. They're in my mother's cellar, actually, which is a some drive away. So I'm actually just going to do what I did last year. Yeah, so I've dissolved a little bit of sugar in there, probably up to about there, giving it a good shake. And then I'm just going to put, I'm just going to loosely fill these bottles with blossom. So it's actually fizzing already. And the only reason for that, this was sparkling spring water that I just picked up from the shop. But yeah, normally I'll just use still. That didn't make any difference. If anything, it'd make it even more explosive. But yeah, I would recommend either these and you kind of burp them every now and then so you don't get the result that you're about to see in a second. Uh, or champagne bottles. I mean, even that's probably a bit scary. You see, when you see how kind of explosively fizzy this gets. Um, yeah, I do wonder if even though the best champagne bottle would withstand the pressure. But, you know, I think it would. But I've not used, I've not used those before. I only used plastic ones. So this year I shall try both methods. Right, keep topping that up. A few more handfuls. Top up the water. Put the lid on and wait. Oh, I almost forgot to mention something I'm obviously excited about is that come the first Sunday of August, I'll be beginning my regular three and a half hour walk foraging extravaganzas in London, London parks. I say foraging extravaganzas because we see so many different plants and taste so many wonderful, kind of unique and intriguing, delicious for the most part. Um, obviously people's tastes differ. So, you know, some things might be cha more challenging, but a whole load of like wild food tasters as well. So link for that is in my bio and literally hot off the press is this if you're interested in doing a kind of longer course or rather longer in terms of over the course of, of a year it's two weekends and yeah it's fire foraging and folk tales and we I'm running this with a wonderful storyteller and uh, all-round wonderful person Arthur professional storyteller and games teacher the particular interest in connecting to people and place through story play and fireside feasting is what we're going to be doing so we're looking at foraging and storytelling so it's going to be an introduction to storytelling it's going to be looking at biographical storytelling sensory storytelling and spontaneous storytelling so that's beginning this autumn and then over the course of a year so autumn winter spring and summer i'll tell you much more about that in a separate post i'll do with arthur but for now back to the blossom i've been experimenting with wild fizzes so basically different flowers put into these bottles with some water and some lemon juice and some sugar let's see if it fizzes Hey! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> but there's your answer. Uh, this is sweet chestnut blossom. Ah! 
<laughs> there we go. I think that's busy enough. Ah, wow. Not much left, but it's delicious. Cheers. <laughs>